Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 67. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Bridgestone 500 horsepower runoff. We're going to be taking the Lamborghini Gallardo for this one. Uh, specifically, the Gallardo that I actually picked for the 450 horsepower runoff before I realized that the Gallardo had 500 horsepower. So I was a bit stumped. But at least I can use it for this one. Going to be starting off with Camino via de Montserrat, Road Atlanta, Bugatti Circuit, Road America again. See, it's becoming a regular thing. And then Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. Do you know, I absolutely love the Queens of the Stone Age. Some of their songs. Phenomenal. But yeah, the World Tours are going to take about 20 minutes per uh, race. I was going to say episode. That would have been nice and simple. No, it's 20 minutes per race. Six races in them. That means on average, we're looking at quite easily doing... Um, What's it called? Quite a fucking lot of videos. What a tune. This Lamborghini's doing a good job, by the way. Sorry, Audi R8. I know they're the same car. The Gallardo and the R8 are the same as the new Huracan and the new R8 are the same thing. The only difference is the engine is a V12 in this, right? Or is it still a V10? I don't even know. Yeah, I find it crazy that the Mercedes group doesn't own as many cars as they... Like, I thought... Obviously, Volkswagen group is... Fucking mental. There are so many... Manufacturers in the Volkswagen group. But... I did kind of expect Mercedes to have... Kind of a few more. The main ones they've got is like... Mercedes-Benz and Smart. It's got the AMG division. I don't know if they own Pagani, but I know they supply engines to Pagani. Not bad. Uh, oh yeah, they might do it to Aston Martin. Yeah, I think they do. The newer Aston Martins have AMG engines, don't they? Completely forgot about that. Clarkson's Lambo is not that bad. Mm 
The interior camera of this game is really good. Smooth that is, though. To think that Gran Turismo's interior camera still isn't available on every single car as well. And Need for Speed, non existent. That's one thing that Unbound should have. The Chunk Veyron went off at the first turn on. Cata. <laughs> what, did it just outbreak itself on Catalonia? Just, yeah, I don't need brakes. And touch. Not bad. Keep it moving. Could we have known? was a really bad corner. Just did not want to turn in. There you go. Not a bird. Got some money. Wank Veyron has the mass of an apartment building. <laughs> wow. 30% discount on intake manifold and oil cooling upgrades by Lamborghini. And air filter upgrades by ITG Italy. Right, here we go. La Lamborghini. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much storage space is left on my PC. Probably not enough. <laughs> to delete some footage. I've got every single recording session still on here, by the way. That's like a month and a bit's worth. I will double check just before we carry on. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of storage space. Oh, 1.2 terabytes left. <laughs> she said one bite. You are 1.19999999 terabytes off. <laughs> this is new to me. to be
Yeah, I really wish that uh, the new... What's it called? The new Need for Speed, Need for Speed Unbound. I hope we can start seeing some interior cameras. Get some more immersion into the Need for Speed world, that would be nice. Give me a reason, give me a reason. Not bad. Yo, Daisy, what up? How you doing? Long time no see. Lamborghini, la Lamborghini, bitch I know you see me, you my Lamborghini, la Lamborghini. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Hey look, it's the person that made this car. Audi. <laughs> this is just an Audi R8. That's all this car is. That's not too bad. Uh, Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo. I've been playing it a lot on my Steam Deck. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not that expensive on Steam when you buy it but it goes on sale quite a bit and sometimes it goes down to like two pound something stupid mm. why do you think I've been doing it for the past six years You know, it's a lot of fun editing and messing around with tech and stuff like that. It's quite interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this one's a banger. That's so bad. Oh god. Do you know what's really surprising is actually making movies um, and editing them into like cinema quality things is a lot easier than you'd expect. Like people think it's an absolute pain in the ass. It's not. You just have to rely on multiple camera angles. So. Well, if you can't use a computer, get the fuck out of media. You know. Let's say Sebastian Loeb. I say say Lube. It's not Lube. Oh my God. Sebastian is offended. You've just said his name is Lube. <laughs> Sebastian Lube. 
fuck's sake. Sebastian Lou, the all-time world champion. <laughs> To be honest, if you can't turn a PC on, life probably isn't for you at this point, because that's kind of the way the world's going. Sounds harsh, but, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a basic thing for modern day nowadays. Continue! Not bad. A 20% discount on ignition upgrades by Magneti Morelli. What do you mean you need help, Wolfie? In what way? No one to support? Yeah. How's it gonna feel when you're standing there alone? This one's gonna be a slightly longer race. With everything. Gosh, that helps me so much. Have you seen her? This incredible creature. Oh, you're back. I thought you were Kodo. Ha <laughs> ha it was a terrible joke. Klinge. Mm. <laughs> Klinge. bad. Looking good. Right. Three more laps to go. Just remember no item to mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm not shifting down. After the next championship, so probably 11? 11 ish, I think I'll finish. 11 to half 11, any time between there. Oh. Huh? Later. Hear me tonight, cause my feeling is just so right. Later. Hear me tonight, cause my feeling is just so right. <laughs> what a tune.
How big? It wouldn't surprise me if it's like 30 gigabyte. To be honest. Falls on like to do big updates like that. But I know for a fact Steam will get it later than anyone else, so. Two new stories in a festival playlist going through all the FH games. What, the two stories go through the Horizon games, or what? Later. So one of the ah okay fair enough. Later. That's pretty cool. Time to do some lubed up racing. For fuck's sake. Sebastian Lube. <laughs> Sebastian Lubed up rallying. <laughs> that is pretty cool, actually. It's a good thing that they've got like a permanent story thing in that game for the older Horizon games. I'm still waiting for Horizon 4 to go extremely cheap on sale. I think Horizon 4's probably got a 5 year life cycle rather than a 4 year. Because technically speaking, um, Horizon 4 would have been delisted by now. If it wasn't for the fact that they have clearly extended its life cycle. So. I won't get you. Out of my mind. Yeah, more than likely I won't play it and I'll probably just play it as part of my uh, watching my jig. Part of my mega series. I'm not enjoying playing Horizon 5 at all. So, I'll come back to it as part of my mega series and have an excuse to play it more than anything. There we go, not bad. First place. Woohoo! Coca Cola. Right, change of plans. This is going to be my last championship, and then I'll finish up. For some reason, everyone's decided to go to sleep before 10 o'clock. Which just blows my mind. I don't think that's happened in, like, I don't know, over a year. <laughs> No, it's not Guinness. What part of me says, says oh, look, this drink's Guinness? He's doing a uh, decent job of driving this. Maybe because you're a hardcore alcoholic. Excuse me, you're calling me a hardcore alcoholic. Did you see how much you drunk while you were on holiday? Man, you were constantly updating. Oh, look, I've drunk this, I've drunk this, I've drunk this. I didn't drink a single beer on holiday. <laughs> Thank you. 
I drink less alcohol than you do, Cotto. <laughs> I drink a lot less alcohol than you, Cotto. So if I'm an alcoholic, what the fuck are you? <laughs> what do you mean you did drink a lot? You were saying like, oh yeah, I've drunk this, I've drunk this, I've drunk this, I've drunk this. So either you were chatting shit out your ass, or you're chatting shit out your ass now. <laughs> One or the other. I'll be okay. 60 cocktails over two weeks. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of drinks. Ding, 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 ding. More than four every day. Which is a lot more alcohol than I drank. Bim, 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 bim. I think I had a couple of cocktails. I maybe had a, uh, what's it called, Bacardi every night. like one some nights I just didn't drink either so I really didn't drink a lot while I was away I drank a lot less than I was expecting because I was expecting to like drink <laughs> but I ended up having like a coca-cola most nights and just sticking with that well yeah I, I know it is Cotto I know there's a drink called, like, Diesel or something. I think it was, like, Guinness and something else. Something ridiculous. It sounded hideous. Whatever it was. Also, I got Overwatch 2. Yeah, because it's free. It's a free-to-play game. Unless they changed it last minute to make it paid for. But it was free to play when they announced it. Why did he... When did he buy it? Because you realise Overwatch 1 has been shut down, right? They shut down Overwatch 1 when they made Overwatch 2. Oh, well, he's a bit of an idiot. Because I'm pretty sure they shut down the servers for that, didn't they? Or they're going to fairly soon. Yeah. But isn't that just the core game? Not the actual multiplayer. I read somewhere that they were shutting down Overwatch 1 servers as soon as Overwatch 2 went up. Eh, maybe they didn't. Live fast and die young. Mm. Shit is the answer. <laughs> Honestly, Overwatch games are terrible. I tried Overwatch 1. It's a horrendous game. Oh, 
fated to pretend to pretend no it's like a team deathmatch kind of thing it's that kind of vibe capture the flag those kind of things not bad Twenty percent discount. Right, we've got one more race. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. Hello there, Ferrari. Sure. Try out by I don't care. Honestly, Wolfie, to be perfectly honest, you miss Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege now is not the Rainbow Six Siege that everyone knows. Um, the good Rainbow Six Siege is... Um, sort of like year two, year three. Once year five came along, that's when it all went downhill. They're on year seven now. So, even when you bought it, it was shit. You missed it, unfortunately. It was a lot... Honestly, Siege I played so much of during year 3 and 4. It's amazing. I had so much fun with it. Fair enough. Xbox equals a liar. Yeah, because I know he definitely isn't playing online because there is no way in hell. The servers, the servers shut down the day before Overwatch 2 came out, so... Keep it going, keep it going. Ah, uh, Warriors Dance, let's go.
not bad. Oh, Wolfie, are you on about um, Siege? Sorry, I, that message just clicked in my head. Um, if you're on about Siege, no, it's not fully dead. It's just the gameplay is dead compared to what it used to be. If you're on about Overwatch, yes, it's dead. There is no servers. Only Overwatch 2. Too bad. Looking good. And we're done. And we're done for today. Well, it's all <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I got stuck in the wall. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> all right, I'll take that reward. I'll take my money. I'm going on holiday. <laughs> there we go, not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.